Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany. Today we are doing the second installment into my gingerbread DIY series. So if you guys wanna see what I made this time around, then please keep watching. Alright, first up is this gingerbread cookie tray. I got these trays from Amazon. They came in a pack of two. Then I got six of these little gingerbread men wood cutouts from Etsy. I know they have some at Dollar Tree. Um, if you can find those, you can use those as well. So this is what we are going to turn them into. So I'm going to take some Mod Podge. You could use matte, you could use glossy, it doesn't really matter. And then some white iridescent paint. I'm going to paint on a thin coat of Mod Podge and then sprinkle very, very lightly on the glitter. You don't want a very thick coat of it, like so. You just want it to look dusted, kind of like flour. Now we're going to be taking our white puffy paint, and I'm showing you here the little indents, or like the little, I don't know how, to, how you call it, maybe the cutouts they put on there. So I'm just going to follow those little lines with my white puffy paint, as you can see. Now you can simply just put red puffy paint on those three little red dots, but I'm going to add some sprinkles to make it kind of look like an actual cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So here's what he looks like when he's all done. So cute. So now I'm gonna arrange them on my tray. Now you can add some white paint to the tray if you wanna rough it up. It is pretty shiny. As you can tell, you can see my face in there. But after I got the placement right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of them down. Now the trays did come in a set of two, so if you get 12 gingerbread men, you can make two trays. It'd be really adorable. Then I decided last minute to add this little gingham bow, and here's how it turned out. Super, super cute. Really love this one. All right, next up is our little gingerbread boy and girl ornaments. I've got these clear ornaments from Michaels. They came in a set of eight. Some brown metallic paint. You can also use glitter paint if you would like. Some puffy paint and red, black, and white. And then some ribbon of choice. I showed you two different options. I wasn't sure which one I was gonna go with, but I ended up going with the red and white gingham. So what you're simply gonna do is take off the tops of the ornaments, you're going to pour in your paint into the ornament and you're gonna kinda swish it around. You just want to coat the inside. So it doesn't hurt to add more than add less because you'll have to go back through and add more if you don't get it completely covered. But as you can see here, I kinda tapped it out just to make the paint kind of drain to the top so it would drain through the hole. I hope that makes sense. Once I did both of them, I kind of put them upside down so they would drain and dry. Once they're dry, this is what they will look like. Went ahead and put the tops back on. Now I'm simply just going to draw on my little faces with the puffy paint. So here I'm adding the white icing. You can even add some iridescent glitter on here. I just thought of that now. That would look really cute too. Then we're gonna go through and add our little facial features, some eyes, mouth, nose, and then some cheeks. As you guys will see here in a minute, I did go in with a permanent marker and add little eyelashes for the girls. Super cute. And then a little white dot for the irises of the eyes. Now this is completely customizable. You can change the face, you can make it more intricate, but I'm not that great at drawing, so this is the best that I came up with. And now we're just gonna add our bows. I am putting the bow on the bottom for the boy, kind of like a little bow tie. And then the bow on the girl will go on the top of her head, kind of at an angle to look like a bow in her hair. And this is what they look like. Super cute. Love these so much. All right guys, next up is our mini cookie cutter garland. I got these little mini cookie cutters from Walmart. They were from Wilton, they were under $3. I'm 
and I got some twine and some ribbon, couldn't decide which one I was gonna use. So basically what I did is I painted the rim of the cookie cutter with some red paint. I liked how it really brought out the red to match you know, the ribbon and the string. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to this little gingerbread man and let him dry. As you can see, it adds a nice little touch. So now I went ahead and made sure I spaced out everything to see how many strings I will need to cut. So I went ahead and cut and strung all of my ornaments off camera so I don't bore you guys too much. It took me quite a while. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the garland itself and tie it to the string. Here's what it looks like, almost done. Now we're just gonna go through and cut off the tops of the knots there just to make it look more clean. And then I decided last minute to add these little red bows. I got them from Hobby Lobby. I thought it added something a little bit extra. And I love this one, it is super adorable. All right, last but not least are these little gingerbread cupcakes. Really love these, they're so easy to do. So all you need is a styrofoam ball, some cupcake liners, some caulk from Dollar Tree, some charms, and some sprinkles of choice. So what I'm gonna do is put a ton of hot glue in the bottom of that cupcake liner and then just push that foam ball right in there, really make sure it's stuck. And then you're just simply going to add the caulk on top and then spread it out. You can use a icing bag if you'd like, but I don't have any and I didn't wanna get it just for this. I like how it looks when I brush it out with a brush. It still looks good and looks more natural, not so perfect. So as you can see, the cupcake liner was coming off of the ball a little bit, so I added some more hot glue just to make sure it's stuck. Now you're just gonna add your charms. This is the fun part. You can completely customize this. You can get all kinds of little embellishments or charms. Hobby Lobby has a ton of great ones to choose from. I'm putting candy canes, lollipops, sprinkles, little gingerbread men, really, really cute. This one was really fun. So you can have the look of real cupcakes without having to have real cupcakes on display. So sweet. All right guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed my second installment into my gingerbread DIY series. If you guys haven't seen my first one, then I will link it down below and above. You should definitely go check it out. I did make some really simple DIYs as well, but I hope you enjoyed these. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I really can't decide. I really, really love these little gingerbread boy and girl ornaments, but I like the cupcakes as well. But if you guys haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make all kinds of videos, home decor, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, you name it, I do it. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Just coming to visit No, he